What's up, everybody? It's Jason Gray 503 from Blood and Fire Country Club. Hope you're doing fantastic. Happy May. I think it's from May 2nd. Yeah, wow. Look at the time fly by. Hey, quick video on coin games. Yeah, maybe not so quick. Um, so when you're brand new, a lot of times you come to this home screen, which I'm going to share my screen with you. And you wonder, what should I do? And you click play now. And it leads you to coin games. And you start thinking that's the main version of the game. And you get these uh, coins up here, these silver coins, which really don't mean much at all. Okay. So I'll tell you, uh, you should probably be playing WGT tournaments and club tournaments. That's where you get double XP for playing them. And it's more competitive and more fun. However, I use the coin games to warm up and I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute. Now, as you're winning coin games, you can uh, collect apparel, which will upgrade your player during coin games and different modes that allows apparel boost on. So you notice here in the top left every week, if you win at least nine coin games while having your sponsorship on, which I'll show you that in a second, uh, you get three different boxes of new apparel that you can open up and it'll upgrade your, your guy. So what I use it for, when you come here, you click play now, when you have a free sponsorship, you click it. Uh, I like to do the max gear, okay? What's most important in the game until you're level 97, or maybe you can even argue level 103, is you need experience points. And if, if you wear all the gear on the max experience, you can uh, earn XP level ups for your guy. So I'll show you that here in a second. I go back to my guy, my character. You can go to edit apparel. And under abilities, you can see I'm wearing all max brand. And down here it says set bonus max. And depending on what level your gear is, you have a higher chance of getting a 20% one hour XP boost. Okay. So I recommend if you're under level 97 or maybe even 103, to warm up, it's good to do some coin games and wear all max apparel. Okay. So that's what my guy's doing. And then play the coin games that fit your bankroll. You know, if you only have 50,000 coins, don't be playing high stakes on here because you'll go broke and then you'll waste money buying coins that are pointless. Um, a lot of times I'll play the 20,000 coins because I can play them forever. Um, but if I'm feeling frisky, I'll play the higher coin games, which Usually you're against a little bit better competition, which makes you step up your game. But I like the one whole games because I'm just trying to warm up. But most importantly, I'm just trying to get um, the, that XP boost. And so the one whole game, you play one hole, it's over and you get a chance of getting that XP boost. You don't get it, you play another one, another one, another one. If you're playing three or four or three holes or six holes or nine holes or 18 holes on there, takes a lot longer and then you only have the chance at the very end of that to get that boost. Now, if you're playing on mobile, I'd recommend you play one hole. If you have no coins, play 500 coins. If you have a lot of coins, play the 20,000 coins or whatever you want. But if you're on mobile, afterwards it says, do you wanna watch a video for extra experience points? I'd say yes every time. It's only 30 seconds. It gives you between 50 to 200 or so extra experience points. Those do add up. Again, it only takes 30 seconds. Just watch the video and then click the X. Now, if you're playing this and you're really trying to win them, you got to make sure once you get to the greens, you're always adjusting your green speed because, wow, look how windy this is. Um, because each course, each hole, each little match is going to have different speeds. All right, so this is 204, which off the tee, hitting a four iron. Be something like this and that wind is going to carry it a lot wow it's hard to aim that much um this is nine i think i need to go like here believe it or not i think so i'll go just a little bit closer because i would rather not land here i'd rather land out here than there and here we go i'm running out of time oh oh right when i was clicking and you don't get much time on these but you do get one warning I gotta remember where I was aiming. Well, that's okay, because I actually wanted to add a little more power. So I was thinking here, you gotta get to that top shelf, the wind pulling it. Might mess with it too. Oh, that's probably fine though. All right.
normally you want to pull the pin too just in case you you hit it but whatever all right so i played the wind too much and i didn't give it enough like it, it landed 202 if it would have landed 203 would have been perfect right um as far as distance and a little further probably would have kicked over towards the pin so this hole give it more power right i knew that too i was talking through i thought i had enough but don't hit it near the ding and uh a little more power. She's playing some good, good stuff. So she's playing starter wedges. You don't really want to do that, but she is playing a nice ball. Edge clear. Run, ball, run. The ball ran a bit. That's a pretty good shot. All right, we got uh, So nine is the green speed. See that in the top left? Let's see what the true elevation is. So it's at my ball, it's down 0.9. At the hole, it's up 23. So it's up 23.9. Backside B. One's in the nest. Pass. Did we get it? Let's no, go. didn't. I brought that aim in a little bit too. I should have just kept it there. All right, so she probably makes her putt. We make ours and then we go to the sudden death or tiebreaker and then that's just whoever puts it closer to the hole um so coin games again you get less experience points although if you watch the video that helps but you do get the chance to get an xp boost if you're wearing all max gear do that um and then you get to build up your apparel over time which in the showdowns which are kind of fun competitions in the showdowns as well as other tournaments that allow apparel having some boosted up apparel is nice. So I'll show you uh, an apparel tip here in a minute. Front of A is clear. Now, if you guys are trying to build up your experience points Backside and you have some money, uh, you can see up here, I've got the premier account for another 17 days. Uh, you can buy that monthly or you can buy that annually with credits or with dollars. Um, so if you're really trying to move up in experience, I would definitely buy that. It doubles your experience points, even on your daily bonus. Today was day 200 in a row that I've played. So normally I was getting like 1700 points and I ended up getting uh, 2000 bonus points, but because of the double and hitting the ball and all that, I ended up getting like 8,300 points for playing uh, a a hole earlier. So make sure you're playing at least one round a day if you really like this game. All right, where are we trying to go? 125. She went short, so and she's off. So I'd rather go slightly long than fall back like she did. This probably comes over a bunch. Well, she just went short because she hit it short. Not the best shot, but it wins the tiebreaker, win the coins. Now we'll see if we get lucky enough to get the boost. So you see here, 53 points XP, which is not much, but for having the membership, I get double. So I get 28 points extra. For being a country club, you get some bonus points. Hitting the ball, how many strokes, and then playing. So being a country club, you yeah. Because it's, um, I won it, I get a silver pack. Pick max, because I'm trying to max out these things. I gotta look, maybe I can upgrade my shirt. <laughs> if I'm using that shirt. All right, so I didn't get the XP boost. Normally it'd pop up there. I did get a, a win towards the weekly. On the apparel, guys, if you're gonna be using it for the showdown or for other things, um, 
you can look through the different stuff. So the hat right here, this uh, swing edge cap, it's nice because this gives you extra driver distance, even if you have a crappy driver. So building up the max gear for the experience points is great. Building up the swing edge for this hat is cool if you really want that ability. And again, that's only for coin games or tournaments that allow apparel. On the gloves, again, I'm just going for the max stuff, but you can click around and see you know, what, what things do what. So this one gives me a better three wood sweet spot. It also slows down my irons during coin games. This shoe is putting forgiveness. Uh, oh, here, I'm gonna upgrade the shirt that it's equipped. That's what's nice about a lot of coins you can keep upgrading. Um, but this one gives you extra three wood distance. Wow, now, so I gotta, I gotta map out that three wood. So that's a good one to have for the showdown or tournaments because you can get extra three wood distance. And then this is sand surface. Now, these pants, if I was playing showdown, I'd probably find something else that gives, gives me better. I don't really need this, but I'm doing it to have the all max gear and then try to get more experience points earnings. But you know what, the, in the apparel, I don't notice any extra percentage. So I think it might be broken. If anyone knows, let us know. All right, I'm gonna play one or more, one or two more coin games, one holes. <clears throat> talk you through what I'm thinking so you can see just how I kind of do some of my shots, but really just uh, see if we can get that um, experience boost so you can see what that is. And the experience boost lasts for an hour. It's 20% experience boost. And then you can stack them up. So sometimes I'll warm up for a half hour playing these. Um, just, you know, getting the groove down and trying to get the experience points. And then I'll go into my tournaments or my club or my Discord matches. Uh, however, sometimes you're lucky enough to get two or three experience boosts in the first 30 minutes. So then it piles on. So it goes from one hour to two hours to three hours. Now, I don't know how many people have three hours to be playing in a row, but I've done it sometimes. All right, this is Beth Page. Um, you gotta know your driver distance, carry distance. You gotta calculate the wind. You don't wanna be in the rough. A lot of times you can shortcut these trees with a good ball driver, but with this headwind, maybe not. Let's take a look. So this is 308, but it is down 42. The wind's in my face, it's close. Um, I don't wanna go too far, that's for sure. So I think somewhere right here. Look, if I'm 126 away or 100 away, it's not that much difference. And then I uh, push it, which is not so good, but luckily I aimed safe. So I'm 132 out. Uh, again, understand your driver carry distance with the different spins and the ball you use. Because if you had a side wind or a tailwind or a very faint headwind, I could have cut that corner and been 30, 40 yards closer, which, which is nice, but it's not the end of the world. Take notes on your shot. So this one I like to add two yards. Left of the pin. Let's see. So if you would have added two yards, you probably would have been there. Although he is a two or pro, so he's got bad clubs. So I'm putting in 134 for my calculation to start with, putting in the wind, et cetera. So I need to hit this about 142, which for me is about like that on an eight iron. And I need to aim a bit to the left. I just need to hit a good shot near the ding or slightly early. It's too early, it might punish us. Yeah, too far left, but eh, a yard or two high. Probably gonna be a left to right downhill putt. Did he make his putt? No. This is for the win, ladies and gentlemen, for the win. I remember, uh, make sure you have the right green speed. Uh, I'm gonna see what the elevation is on my ball, which is down 1.1. At the hole, it's down 2.5. So that's a difference of 1.4 down. So you gotta understand that true elevation there. And now we see by my feet, it's coming in, it's coming in, it's coming in. 
It's just a slow break and it is 10 green. So I bet you it's something like this. Let me hit 32%. There we go. We're putting, getting the speed calculation down, number one, most important, and then getting the breakdown. So you can do break by feel, like I just did there. You can also do it by counting the dots. The dots are all moving pretty similarly, or it's a, a very break cut. I rely on the dot count, but I like to do both. And then as you practice a course over and over, um, you can start seeing, you'll be in the same area pretty often and you can start taking notes in your notepad and mentally of, oh, this one breaks a little extra than I thought or a little less, or when the dots do this and this and this, that's what it means. So for Kiowa, I just played my World Cup match there. Luckily I won it, I played great on the first nine, the, well, the first seven holes I should say. Then I kind of got lackadaisical and did decent the rest, but not great. But I, Pulled it off. But um, in practicing that, man, I'm looking at the dots. I'm like, man, these ones aren't moving. These ones are moving a little bit. These ones are going the other direction. You got to think, what is that going to do to the ball? And try to follow the ball along the movement of those dots. So, for instance, the dots are barely moving. Your ball is going straight. Then they start moving a little bit, like left to right. Start moving a little bit. Then a lot. Then it moves a lot, right? And you start imagining that and then practicing a bit you can you can start seeing where that putt goes also in practice mode you can see um the putt preview and see what the putt's going to look like all right so this is hard to see with the shadows but you definitely want to hit the fairway um i'm not going to run out of fairway there because of the headwind it is going to move the ball from here to probably middle fairway if i hit it near the ding or slightly late well a lot late but that's safe yep mid fairway so again, miss into the wind, miss into the break. That'll just make the ball go a little straighter. But if you miss with the wind, it's gonna really have a big effect on the ball. Now I will miss it with the wind on purpose a little bit. Uh, let's say it's a tailwind on the drive and the fairway's wide open because it will give you a few extra yards, but uh, it can get dangerous doing it in any other situation. Well. Here, no chance of getting there with this headwind. Just want to play it safe. I'll play, even though I get a little bit further, playing 80 to 70% backspin, I want the ball to settle. It's hard to tell where, where the rough is. Like, is it right here? I think it's right here. The wind is going to kick it a bit. Let's aim right there. Oh, no, I didn't want to go early on purpose, but it worked out. All right, 79 yards. So if you know how far away you are, you can start calculating um, your shot while your opponent's going. Now, if you like to do that you, and you play over and over, you can take notes in your notepad what the elevation is for the course, especially if it's a course that only has one set of pins, because then you know how to calculate the elevation while you're waiting too. I do not know what the elevation is here. I was guessing four and <laughs> What well, do you know? It's there. So I need to go around 80 yards, which is an interesting number for me. I'm going to try Try that for 80 yards. bad give it a few more clicks of top spin and would have been all over it so that's my new 75 yard wedge so it actually carries around 76 if it's flat um, but it'll stick or maybe even roll back a yard um, which is nice and uh, if you put a little top spin on it with the wedges it will carry a bit further and the wind will affect it a little less so here we are nine green speed if you hold down your cursor over this, you can see, you know, in the middle here, what the dots are doing. You see they're going right to left slowly. Um, 
So I'm gonna, but you see on this angle, it's not much, right? So I'm gonna ram put it. So that's five, six, nine, nine. It wasn't that much of a ram, was it? Because uphill in the screens, I used to play 12 and a lot of 13 greens. So on um, those speeds, that would have been a ramp for sure. But wasn't moving. Okay, right, boom. See it? Set bonus activated. 20%. Plus, because I want, I got extra apparel, which will start building up different brands, but you get at least one max brand if you click the max sponsorship. So my advice is keep doing the max until you're getting leveled up. Maybe do the swing edge a bit to get that hat. Now, when I click play now, it'll show you up here how you're doing. If you click the top things, show you how you're doing in your bracket. And if you're in the top, depending on what bracket you're in, you can earn extra coins at the end of the week, which again, I don't care about the coins. I'd rather just win them this way. Uh, shows me up here. I have top left three win, four wins for the week. So in daily bonus, every three wins, you get something. So I got some extra apparel. All right, so those are my tips on apparel. If anyone wants to stick around and watch um, me map out the three wood with uh, the new boost on it, I'll show you how to do that. So bonus for those that care. You go to your practice mode, stroke play, pick Kiowa, front nine, low winds. And then you keep restarting until you get a very mild side wind. So this is almost there, but it's three to five. You can get zero to two or one to three. You can also get a 100% like side wind as well. So you can press escape and then click restart, escape on the keyboard. Sometimes I've restarted 20 times. One to three would be nice, but it is in my face, not the end of the world, but I'd rather just get a one to three or zero to two, uh, almost complete side win. That's close. So patience is a virtue, right, y'all? It's easy to say, yeah, screw it, let's just do it with four, five, six win, but like this, uh, all right, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> like I was just saying, be patient. I'm gonna do it, eh, do I wanna do it here? Actually, let me just see with my driver what this does because it's a slight tailwind. Let's see how much it affects it. But I am on Zoom, so the legs are a little difficult. So 306, it's normally 304, so I gave it two extra yards. Mm. Let's hit that one more time and see. Well, that was early. All right, we're just going to use it because we're going to ballpark and I don't really use the boost uh, on the three with that much unless I'm playing showdown, but I do love to play showdown. All right, so we'll just keep it straight even though it might go off a bit. Oh, wait, I want to share my whole screen with y'all. Show you the Wizard of Oz here. Good ball. All right, so I got my spreadsheet. I'm now gonna label this, I put it in red because I have the two different three woods mapped out, but it's 261 three wood off the tee. And go to my three wood, I'm mapping out the full backspin. The carry distance is all, I can, all I'm worried about. Trying to hit the ding or real close to it. You know, when I miss it that much, I can look and say, okay, that went 261 or so, but I know that was such a miss. And yeah, I'm not the best ding player. As you can see, especially on Zoom. Um, garden spot. But if you hit near the ding, it'll work out. All right, that's still close enough. It's with the wind. 264. I'll go 80% now. Again, not ideal, but close enough, especially with y'all watching. A 273. 60% backspin. Two 
279-ish, okay. So, hmm, let's go this way in the fairway. I know there's a bunker up here. I don't want to be in it. I want to be on the fairway if I can. Nope, I'm in that bunker, duh. But I'm at the other one. All right. I think that's it. We'll find out. Four. Wait, I'm in the rough. Okay. All right, here we go. This shows 261 off the deck. If they don't lose a ball. I'm just looking at the top tracker. Ah, oh, I lost ball. No, 268. Hmm. So you got to find a par five to test this on there without losing balls, probably. Well, I might have a little more fairway over here. Let's see where there's a will, there's a way. Is your name Will? Town man. I don't know where the out of bounds is. Is it, is it here? Is it back there? Let's see if I have any more. I think I do. I'm pretty sure I've mapped out my through it here. No, maybe not. 40, 50. That's not going to be helpful. Oh. Try to get a lot of hits on the ball because kind of if I lose it, you know, it's yeah, whatever. Get a lot of hits on it. We will get up there. Is that fairway? I think it is. Okay, fairway. 239. 260. What do you guys think? If I hit it here, is it out of bounds? Probably is. I'm not gonna do it, boys and girls. All right, I'm gonna map it out at a different hole if you want to if you want to watch feel free i want to find the next hole or the hole after and figure out that carry distance to some degree by the way mapping out your punch shots and all that stuff is a good idea so this is 89 percent give or take with full backspin with my gloves, with my tireless ball. And it was yeah, just, I didn't hit the right aim. All right, well this, let's get out here, 222. Three twenty-eight. Now we have, do have a tailwind though, so that's gonna do something with it. But let's get an idea about what what we're dealing with here. So we want to do eighty percent. Okay, two sixty-three. Surprising. Is it way uphill? No. Because the this one was more than that. Ah, don't want to miss with the wind. 261. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. I'm gonna hit one more. All right, well, there you have it, guys. So main takeaway here is all the coin game stuff, right? 
So use the max apparel, get the XP boost, build up the swing edge hat if you want more driver distance for coin games or showdown. But I would say spend most of your time in the game on your country club tournaments where you get double XP for playing them. You can have fun. If you have a good country club like we do where there's really easy tournaments to score low, there's close to the hole, brackets, hole in ones, tiered competition, credit competition, et cetera. That makes the game a lot more enjoyable. Um, and most of those games are going to be set up with no apparel. Every once in a while, you might throw it on there for a curveball. So, uh, but there is all you need to know about the coin games, in my opinion. If I left out something, please put it in the comments below. We'll catch you in the next video.